The call to help is drawing some Milwaukee County residents out of their homes into State Fair Park. We have some extra masks that my husband had, so we're giving the extra ones in. Every day, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., people can drop off medical items they don't need into a truck parked inside Gate 5 off 84th Street. County Medical Services is asking for donations like N95 masks, safety glasses, protective gowns, and disposable medical gloves. And that's not the only place they're getting help. Seamstresses at Eater Flag in Oak Creek, normally sewing American flags, are making medical masks for workers on the front lines. We put a lot of work into it this weekend to make the proto prototypes and all of that, um, and now it's just training the staff. We tried the prototypes ourselves. They're thick, not like the N95 masks, but officials with Monterey Mills that supplies the materials say the masks can be used as an important barrier. My guess is they'll use it as an entry level position when they're dealing with new patients. Uh, the strong advantage we have with our product is it's machine washable and dryable and reusable. And Caroline joins us once again live from State Fair Park. Caroline, what about the people at home who are sewing masks? Can hospital use them? Yeah, we know that hundreds of those masks are being made by people watching right now. That is a case by case basis. Local hospitals and ERs don't seem to be taking those, but there are low risk, low exposure medical industries and medical workers who are accepting those masks. The CDC has issued guidelines on how you can make those masks at home yourself. Caroline Reinwald reporting live in West Dallas tonight.